Hello, it gives me great pleasure to share with you this animation on the law of conservation of momentum as applied to a particular situation called perfectly inelastic collision. I have given another animation on elastic collisions. Please do have a look at that. Here we'll be talking about inelastic collision. Inelastic means something which does not rebound on deformation. So if you take an elastic band and pull it, it comes back to its original shape. If you take a ball and compress it, it most probably comes back to a round shape. In this case, we are discussing materials, both of them, which on deformation do not bounce back to a spherical shape. So as you can see in the animation, the red, blue and white, the left ball comes and collides with a yellow ball and both of them, instead of being spherical, have taken on the shape of a rugby ball. They are as deformed as that, just uh, as an exaggeration to uh, uh, help you remember the deformation. So after the deformation, like two friends who have met, they stick together and move together. They have not taken on different velocities. So unlike different uh, types of collision, in this case, after the collision, on the text you will see a red color. Both the balls are moving with a single velocity V. So that's really probably convenient for solving problems, but it's also typical of a perfectly inelastic collision. Apart from the law of conservation of momentum, the other thing that we have to see in any problem on collision is what's happening to the kinetic energy. The kinetic energy of the ball that came rolling down and hitting the yellow one has got to be accounted for. So what's happening here is that since the two spheres have got deformed, part of the incoming kinetic energy has got spent in the energy of deformation. Obviously, it takes energy to deform things. It doesn't come free. So that energy, one has to subtract from the initial kinetic energy. After the impact, since these spheres did not again become spherical, it means that they didn't release that energy that was absorbed in deformation. They just kept it within themselves and both friends are moving together at a constant velocity. So it's clear, uh, as you can see in the text above, that what came in in the beginning, the initial kinetic energy, got reduced in terms of kinetic energy and part of that got consumed into the energy of deformation. Overall, as a system, the total energy is conserved, law of conservation of energy holds, the law of conservation of momentum holds, uh, and we use the word system once again. The two spheres are considered as a system. There is no external force acting on them like friction, so they are kind of isolated spheres. Having understood this, uh, it would be useful to take a look at what's happening uh, in the world in different kinds of collisions. So you have perfectly elastic collisions, you have perfectly inelastic collisions, you have partially inelastic collisions. Most of the crashes that we know of are partially inelastic. If two cars are crashing, there's a lot of heat and sound. So part of the initial kinetic energy has got consumed in heat and sound. So that's partially inelastic. Here, I wanted to show you some gas molecules collision. These are special collisions where the theory says that half of the molecules have a super elastic collision and half of them have an inelastic collision. So overall, they're considered as an elastic collision. So that's a very brief and quick overview within four and a half minutes of the law of conservation of momentum as applied to perfectly inelastic collisions. And I hope you got a feel for the subject. Uh, please feel free to take a look. Uh, thank you and have a great day.